Hey guys, it's me, me and my trusty sidekick. <laughs> hey guys, old Beanie's in the house. You see me freeze waiting on it to say go. Yeah. I was frozen. Go. Yep. How is everybody today? Welcome in. Y'all really have to have that light that bright. I think you look better with a little light. I think you look a little less, you know, tired, bored. I always <laughs> think I look better in the dark. <laughs> that's a story we should share later. No <laughs> joke. That's funny. Don't forget that one. Okay. Hello, my friends. Guess what we're doing today? We're making a card, and we're going to play with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff? You know why? Because I won't do. Well. I want to play with some stuff. So this. You do you, babe. This vellum paper pack. Yeah. Have you touched this vellum? That'd be a no. It's dreamy. Really? It's dreamy. Dreamy? Like, it's dreamy. I That's pretty bold. It is. So I wanted to play with this vellum, and look what we're going to do today. Y'all ready for this? We're going to vellum. We're going to heat emboss. We're going to alcohol marker. We're going to ink blend. We're going to color pencil. We're going to emboss. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I may have done too much. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. I may have planned too much. You scared me a little bit. It's a lot. It's a lot, babe. Okay, check this out. I want you to feel this. I, you can see I've cut some pieces away for us to use. Feel that. That is, what is it? You tell them. It's dreamy. I told you it was dreamy. I said you got to feel it. So if you pick this up during our sale, which is going on right now, by the way, 20% off, you just need to use the code craft month because it's the national craft, March is national craft month. So. And we have new stuff coming in every day that we're going to be just adding in. So just uh, keep a watch. If what you're looking for is not there today, it might be there tomorrow. So keep watching. Oh, no. Shenanigans. Oh, uh -oh. no. I need a piece of copy paper. Since I've moved, I didn't bring any extra paper with me. That could be bad because I think we're out. I just need a piece of scrap Amanda's paper. Amanda's supposed to pick it up Notebook paper. I didn't leave a notebook in here. Nothing. I just need a piece of scrap paper. And the paper I have in here is Ms. not Jones scrap. said I was so stinking cut. Oh. She really, she didn't me. say she didn't say who was or she just me. says that. So I'm sure she's talking about me. So since I'm waiting on paper, I'm going to start the next part, the next process first. Okay. So I want to, we're going to make a card. Y'all are like, just make it. Just make it. Emboss and folder. This is one of the new ones Vince picked out. I really like it. Wow, you cannot see it. There it is. It has flowers on the bottom. They're kind of like, they remind me of those flowers when I was a kid that you would make a bracelet out of. It's not those flowers because those have a name and y'all will know them. I do not. But it reminds me of those. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking a piece of four by five and a quarter white cardstock. Here comes shenanigans. I knew it. Nope. Oh, just scrap paper. That'll work fine. I just didn't have anything scrappy. Thank you. Okay. Scrappy, scrappy, do. So put putting my paper in, but I want to show you what I'm doing in this folder. I'm sending my paper all the way to the top, and I'm doing that on purpose because I want the flowers to be as low down as I can get them because I'm going to put something cool right here. Okay? So, and by the way, this card was designed by three people this morning. <laughs> Me, Brenda, and Shannon designing this card, trying to figure out what to do. All right, so I'm going to feed this through my embossing machine. How do you like this new machine? I, it, it's really cool looking. It's the easiest. Listen, I love it. I love it. I can't help it. I, it you look like you had to strain I running didn't it strain through. at all. Wait till you see it. I didn't even try. And it comes with three plates. I don't have one of them in here. This plate, this plate, one other one. That's it. Life is easy. That's what I like. There's the machine. Um, let me show you the side. In What's case it you're called? Wondering. The Freestyle. Memento Freestyle. We only have two of these left in stock right now. They come in, I think we get them in six at a time or something. There's two left in stock. All right, check this out. Here we go. Boom. And let me show you how well it embosses. Look at it. Uh, that's bad. Can you see it? Hold on. Let me get my hand in there so it'll focus on something. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And today, we're not going to work on the emboss side. I'm going to work on the deboss ball side. And do not panic. This will get better. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit from here. Because I'm I won't be able to from my tripod. Hang on one second. Y'all don't panic. Don't panic. No one panic. Just doing a little little Justin. Little Justin. We're good. Sometimes you gotta adjust. Sometimes you gotta adjust. You won't see this really good. All right, the glasses are going off because we're fixing to work. Um, you won't see this really good until I start coloring. Okay. Mixed media. I'm doing mixed media. Do I need to come check you for fever or it's something? Not, I mean, it's, not the classic, a, it's not the classic mixed media. You're just going way out there today. <laughs> it's because we all designed it. It's not classic mixed media. I'm using a color pencil. I'm using alcohol markers. I'm using distress inks. Like, we're just going to have fun. All right, so down here, I'm using a color pencil because I'm going to be coloring the debossed side. That means the side where the image is pressed into. 
Not the embossed side, which is the side where the image is up, where you can feel it embossed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The debossed, where it's pressed in. The Think of this part. like letterpress. Y'all seen that, right? Like letterpress. So here's, and look, That's I just saw somebody say, Miss Jones That's said right. freestyle, no rules. I'm glad you said that because today I'm breaking every rule. I promise I am. <laughs> Okay. Well, that sounds encouraging. So what I'm going to do here is on these little stems, I want to color those little stems of the D-ball side. And the reason I'm using a colored pencil for this, I tried it in a sample with a marker, but what happens is my marker bled out too much and didn't give me the crisp stem and the crisp leaf, and I want it crisp. So I'm taking my color pencil and coloring in there and making it nice and crisp in that debossed section. So all the stems and all the little leaves that come off are going to get colored. Now that's not the flowers, or I don't know what kind of flower this is. I think it's really a weed, like a clover or something, but we're going to color them. All right, so just getting down. So now you can start to see what we're working with here. So I'm getting down into that little crevice and laying down some green. Laying down some green. That sounds like laying down cash. But I ain't. I'm laying down green. Miss Jones said she's very impressed with your depressed idea. <laughs> <laughs> My card will have a depression. Okay, so color all these little areas. We have to have we have to have uh, coloring music or either can you can you hum a little coloring? Ditty? Let me just bulk up. Well, you can't do that because you can't. Ah, have, I got out of the line. You can't have stuff that's. I got out of the line. That I have makes no you in violation. I have an idea. I got out of the line. Oh, no. I didn't mean to. I'm going to see if I can erase it. So I can't just play music. No, I'll get a violation. I don't want no violation. Y'all, this is overkill. If you get out of line, just be out of line. Just Bill wants to line. know what mix, what's mixed media. Mixed media is where you take a bunch of medias. I don't know if you know this, but in art, there's a you, you work in a media. Or a medium, I should say. You work in a medium. Like, for example... Um, Watercolor is a medium. Alcohol, I mean, um, acrylic is a medium. Alcohol is probably a medium. <laughs> um, acrylic is a medium. And when you mix medias, you're putting a bunch of different things together. All right, so now what I will do is I'm so going to So just through... to, in a nutshell, it's basically just mixing a bunch of ways of doing things together and well, you just call have these a conglomerate. Media. Like if I, were, if I were an alcohol marker colorist, then my media would be alcohol markers. That would be my medium. I'm sorry, I mixed my words together. My, I would work in the medium of alcohol markers, but I'm mixing them together. I want to show you which ones I'm using here today. These are the Nouveau markers, and I'm using number 449, 404, and the blender. Don't know how much I'll use that. We'll see. All right, I picked these colors to match my vellum. So that one matches this vellum. And I'm not going to show you the other one because it'll give away what I'm doing next. So just know it matches the pink. Just know that. All right. So in these flowers, here's what I want to do. I want to go into the D-ball side and I'm going to color the flowers in, in the D-balls. And I'm kind of staying away from the edge because I don't want it to bleed too much onto the actual cardstock itself. Let me do one up here. Let it kind of run in. If it doesn't run in, we're going to come back with the blender and blend it out. But we're just laying down some color on the inside. Turn your stuff, turn your paper where you can get to it. You don't have to, you don't have to be a contortionist. Move stuff around. So just kind of mix it up. I'm gonna do that one. I better do this pink too. That feels like the same one. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of color in here. You know I can't color and, and talk. What do we do now? Well. Can you just hum a ditty? You can't. We'll get a I copyright can't. strike. We'll get a we're, strike. We're stuck. What do we do? All right. So, continuing to color. And like I said, I'm laying down color that's not perfect. I'm going to come back with my blender and blend it out. And my blender pencil is also going to, I mean, my blender marker is also going to knock my color back a little bit, which I need it to do. Because it's going to blend it all together. Yes. And y'all, when you're doing this at home, be neater than me. I'm trying to hurry because we want to move on. But You can really take your time. They're not in any hurry. Are they not? They don't seem to be. I feel like I need to hurry. So here, 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 here. Let's go here. Well, I can't sing for y'all because then we get a strike. Copyright strike. Copyright strike. So. You know what but song thanks. I've been seeing, singing this morning? 
all morning, all, all the way to work. I what you been song. singing? He didn't bring us this far to leave us. I've been singing that song all morning. That's I love point. that song. It's one I we also, all need to remember. I also shared on my Insta story my favorite song, which is from the Martins, It Came to Pass. I shared that on my Insta story for folks. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm going to take that yellow, which I chose to match my paper, and I'm doing the same thing, just putting some in. And in a minute, we'll use that blender pen and soften everything up. On camera, this probably looks better than it does in person, which is a very good thing. Although cameras nowadays can show every imperfection, y'all know? Every imperfection. So I saw this video today. Yeah. That reminds me of my mother. Um, this lady was traveling with her children in the car. So you can imagine how chaotic that can be. And her lips were very dry. So you know, ladies, how you stick your hand into your purse and you pull out your chapstick. Because you know what it feels like. You just get your chapstick out and you put it on, right? Yeah. She said on this trip, she had been putting piles and piles of chapstick on her lips because they were dry. Just every now and then, she'd just put chapstick on, not thinking anything about it. She says she pulls up at McDonald's to place an order. And the lady behind the counter, when she gets to the window, gives her this very strange look, like really just staring at her strangely. And she said, I thought to myself, do I have something in my teeth? What's going on? Why is she staring at me so? And she said when she pulled off, she looked in the rearview mirror and she had not been using chapstick. She had been using her lipstick. And, you know, you don't put chapstick just on your lips. You run it around the edges. She had lipstick all over. It reminded me of my mother. Would my mother do that? Oh, Lord, that sounds 100%. exactly like her. Mama actually went to Dollar General. And did that. She had lipstick all over her face. She said people were looking at her so funny. She didn't know why. And it's because she literally had lipstick all over her face. It was so funny. Yeah, that song, He Didn't Bring Us This Far to Leave Us, that's an old imperial Ooh, song. it's an old one. It may have been recorded by other people too, but they're the ones that I know it from. Um, so that's it's You know good where song. I know it from? This is an interesting story. My dad has always had gospel groups, you know, that he's managed and booked and stuff like that. And he had a group called The Believers when I was about nine years old. And he um, booked that group, and they sang it. And that's where I learned it. And they used to do a lot of Imperial stuff. And I yeah, love it. If I'm not mistaken, it's on the Imperial's album called Heed the Call. And uh, it was released in 78, 79, somewhere around Surely the Imperial's won't give the copyright strike. So they might. You but think? would you explain to folks what the copyright strike is? Because several people have asked what. What's a strike? In YouTube land, if you, um, one moment, I've lost something. Do you see my blending sheet? Here it is. In YouTube land, if you use material that you don't own, which is good, you can get a copyright strike. And if we sing a song, they have an algorithm that will pick it up and you can get a copyright strike. And if you get three copyright strikes, you can lose your channel. So we don't want to do that. I need to get some ink. One moment. Several people are asking for baby news. Oh, give baby news. Go ahead. So I will give baby news on Friday March the 13th, little Emmy came into the world at 2.38 in the afternoon. She weighed 7 pounds and 6 and a half ounces. She was 21 inches long. Baby and mama are doing good. They did have just a slight little adjustment with some jaundice where they spent the night at the hospital. Um, Monday night. Wait, what's today? Today's Thursday, so Monday, right? Monday or night, Tuesday. or maybe t Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday could, night. Yeah, Tuesday. She spent the night Tuesday night at the hospital and stayed on the light till about three o'clock in the morning Wednesday morning. They tested her at three o'clock Wednesday afternoon, and all was well. So, mom and dad and little Emmy got to come home. So we're just tickled to death to have her, her around. Tickle pink, get it? Because she's a girl. Tickle pink, because she's a little girl. Okay. Along the lines of ink blending, I mean ink dragging, which you guys know how much I love ink dragging, right? I'm using my Distress Oxides. This is mowed lawn, and I'm using my um, Nuvo blending brush. And Amanda wanted me to point something out to you guys. Um, this is a good thing, actually. Um, the Nuvo blending brushes have had an, a facelift, okay? So instead of this straight handle, you will start seeing these going out in order. So we have a few of these left. So if you place an order, you're going to get these. But then in the future, you'll start getting these. So if you get either one or if you order two sets and you get both, they work the exact same. They just gave them a facelift. 
So here's what you do. You tap it into your ink. You get four, four uh, you get two of these in a package, but you get four tips. And here's what I do. And, and this is not my idea. A lot of people do this. So I use one side for orange, one side for yellow, one side for green, one side for blue. And like this, I can use for red also, because even though this stains, it doesn't carry over to your, uh, your project. All right. So again, we've worked on that D ball side. So now, oh, I didn't use my blending. I'm not going to blend. I'm not gonna worry about it. So then we just take our little brush here and doing this is picking up the edges. See how it's picking up the edges of the flower and really making them kind of appear. I love how that's looking and it's giving it that grass look down here at the bottom. And right there, if you can see that, that's where I erased. I shouldn't have erased. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Should not have done it. So lay on color as heavy as you want, as light as you want. I will tell you on camera, I want to show Vince and he can tell you this. On camera, it looks really light, but in person. It's cool. Yeah, you can really see it, can't you? But yeah. on camera, it doesn't look that dark. So now that's the ground. And now let's do some sky. I'm going to start with. If you um, hold it up to the camera, will it show? It's this new camera. It so blows out the white. It just blows it out. So now what I'm going to do is add some blue. So I'm using Broken China. And you can see just putting some blue onto my end here. Miss Joan is curious is since them things look like, uh, you know, dumbbells, if they use them, does it count as exercise? Of course. Yeah. You get a hand workout, of course. Now I'm getting some streaks in here, but that's because I'm using my oxides and I, and I have some little beads on there. I don't really mind that. It'll kind of look cloud like clouds. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. It's getting cuter and cuter. I wish y'all could see the color better. But you just really can't. Because I'm looking on the screen and it's, it just looks like blobs of color. But in my vision, it's blending together. All right. You can also do this with your ink blending tools. You just need to be super um, light-handed. I'm going to a darker blue because I want to darken the sky up and create a transition between the two. And I will tell y'all, if you're like me and you do this over and over again, you kind of can smell these, like, I'm not crazy. You are a smeller of things. I was doing this one time and I'm like, what's burning? Hey, we got a super chat from Lori Austin, $20. Thank wow, thank you, Lori. Thank you very much. Let's give it to her. Remember, I can see you. Oh, that's right. <sighs> I always forget and keep doing my hands on here. That's our. That's the way for the super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Natalie said, if you put it at an angle, they can see it more. I'm not sure. Put the brush at an angle. Um, okay. But when you're using it at home, I want you to go straight up and down. You get a better result. From the side, you don't get quite the same result. You want to go up and down. And then I'm going to take this dark color and do it right here in the middle just to help blend that. Just a little bit to knock that off. Look how cute that is already. I love that. So there is, that's three medias right there. Color pencil, inks, um, alcohol markers. And hold one moment. I want to do something else. Oh, yeah, this. I was thinking. Um, Miss Anita said that she wants to put hemorrhoid cream on her lips. <laughs> <coughs> I've been trying to decide if I was going to share that. But she typed it in the comments. So, um that would have the opposite effect that you Wait, would want, right? Because weren't they that brings you new meaning to pucker up, swell, swell up. I'm stopping right there. We're down. stopping. We're stopping. Okay. That's enough. You've already shared it. We can't take it back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to use some vintage photo distress ink, not oxide, just distress ink, and I want to darken the edges a tiny bit because I have found if I will do this, I get a really good light source. It makes the um, page itself look brighter, like there's sunlight, without me having to bring any yellow in. You can put yellow in. You can mix that in there. But I don't get good luck when I do that. I tend to get almost green in the sky, and I don't really like it. So I'm doing this to kind of brighten the page up. It's, it seems counterintuitive to darken the edges to brighten the page, but it 100% does that. So just rub into the side right here. And this is one of those things people ask me, what what can take my card to the next level? Ink. Everyone is confessing some of their slip-ups. Janet said that she put tinted Blistex uh, on by mistake. She said, my nose was raw, bad from a cold, and she used it to help soothe it. 
She used her finger and applied it to her nose and around her mouth, and she scared her boss to death. I didn't know it was tinted. That's but funny. Uh, Michelle Blue said she sprayed scup- scrubbing bubbles under her arms instead of deodorant. <laughs> you I'm not, guys. I'm not sure what kind of reaction that would be. This is my white pen, and Janet I want to said hang on one second. Sprayed. Let me say this, and you can keep talking. That gives you something to do while I'm doing this. One moment. This is my white pen, and I'm going to put some <laughs> white accents in these flowers, and y'all can watch me do that while he chats about what all y'all are saying. So I'm just going to put some little white accents. Um, Janet said that her mom sprayed Lysol in her hair instead of hairspray. <laughs> and Naoka says she knows some folks that used a glue stick instead of a chapstick. <gasps> Now, some of us men might like to figure it out if that worked Watch or not. Watch it, mister. I, well, Watch I didn't it, say that mister. out loud. And while you're doing that, we had a question earlier about what are the names of the inks that you were using um, as far as that. Distress Oxide Faded Jeans. Distress Oxide Broken China. That was our middle color. And then Mode Lawn. And then I use Vintage uh, Photo for my edges because it's my favorite. Miss Joan asked... Um, did she scare anybody with her foaming pits? <laughs> y'all are so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Today's a good day. That's so, y'all are hilarious. <laughs> Janet said, we are a twisted group. <laughs> <laughs> but we love each other, Miss Janet. That is so funny. I love oh, that we wow. can admit Gary, it. Gary said that uh, his youngest daughter once brushed her teeth with Ben Gay. I bet that was hot. For those of you who, I better not do that to Ben. That'd be mean. I don't want to do it. It's not his name, but it's still funny. Um, oh, my goodness. Kimberly said a family friend wants you super glue instead of her eye drop lubricant. They had to go to the ER. Oh, my gosh. That's serious. Serious. How would you, Um. oh, my goodness. Y'all never store those in the same place. That is scary. Look how cute that is with all the white. White changes things, y'all. It just pop, It just makes it pop. I'm going to put a little white on these um, leaves. And we're not done. We're still adding something else. Linda asked, does oxide ink blend better than just distressed ink? 100%. Oxide ink stays a, stays moist longer. Stays, um, it's, it has a property that allows it to be... Uh, it's not really wet longer. It is wet longer, so it can blend a little better. Um, and our, and they work really good with your um, brushes. So there's my background. Now let's build what's going on top. Guess what we're going to do? In Boston. Scrap paper. In Boston. You got it. We're in Boston. In Boston. Different in Boston. <gasps> this is mm. a double in Boston. This is like we're heat and dry in Boston today. We're going to emboss this little piece of vellum. I'm telling y'all, this vellum embosses like a dream okay so we're going to use the stamp set called let me pull it over here so you can see it it is called spintastic there we go spintastic we're using this big guy and this big guy right here we're going to use that also and the pen that you use the white that is a jelly roll pen and let me tell you what i love about the jelly rolls what they've done is they've put them into a three pack is this the three pack no that's my souffle they put them into a three pack where you end up getting the 10 the five Y'all can't see that. The 10, the 5, and what's the other nib? I don't remember. I've been having a hard time getting it lately. But um, I love the three packs of those. So anyway, all right, heat embossing. So you're going to need um, Versamark ink. This is my favorite. Any embossing ink. This is my favorite. You're going to need a pillow pad or the embossing tool, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to be using that smaller one because I've already done a bigger one. And I'm going to be using, gosh, I have used so many things today. I'm going to be using white Glacier White um, Nouveau em- Embossing Powder. And by the way, I checked it is white this time. All right, because last time, you know, I got the, the clear and I didn't mean to. All right, so the first thing you want to do, and I'm, I was teaching Brenda this this morning because she didn't know anything about how this works. She's always wanted to know. You take your, your static-free um, pouch or your, do I have the other one in here? I think I put it on the dry bar, on the test dry bar. Okay, but let me. This has got powder in it, and what you're going to do is you're going to, I pat it a little bit on my surface, and then I rub it, 
and that is going to take any oil or static or anything off your page. It's not the end of the world in this if you get a little in places you don't want it, but that's what that's for. And then you're going to take your stamp, put it into your Versamark, your clear ink, and all this is going to do is leave a watermark. That's all we want it to do. And that does not break the paper down, correct? What doesn't break the paper down? Well, Beth Smith said, so it doesn't break the paper down, correct? What I don't know exactly what. What the doesn't ink break or, the paper down, Beth? Yeah, tell me what doesn't. Or ask that say, say that anyway. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put that aside. Put that aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pour our white embossing powder on it. And the reason I have this little piece of paper behind it is to catch it because you're not going to waste it. You're going to put it back into the jar. So I'm going to pour this on just like this. Pat off any excess. Y'all, this vellum. I want you to see it before we heat it. Okay. And then let's put this back in the jar. The pins. They no, they don't break the paper down. Some um some people do this over a coffee filter. Like there's several YouTubers that do that, and that's totally a good idea if you want to do that and just use a coffee filter to put it back in. I just use usually I dig in the trash and get a piece of scrap out yeah. of there. That's what I usually do. Gotta be honest. All right. Close the lid up on that. This is where I blow it off my work surface because I don't want it to go everywhere. Now, now here's the trick. We have another question about mm -hmm. the heating tool. Do, have you used the uh, two speed? Nope, Heat this is one I use right here. And the reason I use this one is I had one from before, and it was awful. Matter of fact, um, I was doing some heat embossing in a video, and Christopher Brutus Monroe, Christopher Allen, that's his name, messaged me. He's like, girlfriend, you have got to get a new heat tool. Yours is awful. And I knew it was, but I kept blaming it on my embossing powder, but it wasn't. It was the heat tool. So he said, you've got to get the Marvy. I bought it like four years ago, five years ago, and I never have changed it, and I love it. Okay, so here's the trick. you got to heat this guy up. This is the trick for all heat embossing. Heat it up at least 30 seconds. So somebody start a timer for me right now. Go. I'm putting it under the table so y'all don't have to hear it. But don't heat it on your skin. Don't point it to yourself. 30 seconds. And we got another super chat from Stacy Spencer. Stacy, thank you so thank much. You very much. I can't do both hands. One's holding a heat, a heat embossing tool. Thank you so much. Who's counting? Who's counting? No one said. Y'all should have gone 30. 29. That's what y'all should have done. That would have been hilarious. No. <laughs> so, letting it heat. Letting it heat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> y'all watch Radio Silence. Ready? No. I don't it's like so that. awkward. Um, It's probably been close to 30, 30 seconds, seconds by now. Okay. Heat it up. Take it to the surface. Boom. Look how fast that does, because I preheated. Look how fast that That's was. That's pretty cool. I could do it even longer. I don't like to, because sometimes I will um, overdo it, and you'll know if you overdid it. You'll know. All right. Guess what else we're going to do in this video? Fussy cut. Dang. I'm just doing it all today. You did have people counting, by the way. Thank you all. They, started, they all started. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody. 30. Oh, they're saying it now. 30. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to fussy cut, and I'm going to cut this right to the white line. I think it's pretty when you do that. This pinwheel is the easiest thing to fussy cut. First, it's two straight cuts, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to run around and just do two straight cuts all the way around. Here. Here. I'll trim that out in a second. Going to go here. Another straight cut right here. <laughs> Y'all are having too much fun that I don't get to have. Cheryl said, I melted my sweatpants with my embossing gun. <laughs> Tip, don't hold it between your legs. <laughs> the funny thing about that is I always want to do that. I always want to put it between my legs and let it heat while I keep going, but you can't Apparently, do that. Apparently, it will melt your sweatpants. I cannot do it. Y'all, can I tell y'all something funny? So, I'm going to ask y'all a question real quick. I don't care if I ask y'all. You're my people, okay? So... Y'all are going to love the April Stamp Club sets because, can I tell them why they're going to love them? Can I say that? You don't care, do you? No. Okay, so April is Vince's birthday month, right? His birthday is April the 26th. And um, because of that, I made both club sets all about Vinny. Y'all are going to love it. It's not all about Vinny, but y'all are going to love it. They're very inspired by him. You'll love it, I promise. You're going to think it's the coolest thing yet. Okay, so for May, I, I wanted to do the same thing for me because my birthday's in May. 
right? Yes. But May the, the issue third. is, I don't know what I like. <laughs> so I'm going to ask y'all, we have three things in mind. Would you think that I am a retro 80s person? Like, because, you know, I was a teenager in the 80s. Could you see like a retro 80s stamp set for my birthday celebration? You Could know, you like see cassette tapes and skate, uh, roller skates, roller skates and Walkmans? VHS. I mean, I, that's who I was. VHS yeah. tapes. Yeah. Or do you see me more as a zebra having a party? Like, you know, a zebra birthday party. Or do you see me as a weenie dog birthday? Like, what would which one of those? We can't decide, and I'm going to ask you because you're my peeps. So there you go. And y'all can just tell Vince. He'll just keep an eye and let me know what y'all are saying. Let me tell them this before you start telling me. Okay. Just let it fall. Okay. So in the middle of my pinwheel, there's a little hole, which actually works with your, um, there's a little circle, which actually will work with your um, crop it out. But I'm going to use, I want to show y'all, this embossing tool that I have that I use as my pokey tool is graduated and it works perfect for this. So I just sit it into the center of my um, pinwheel, press it in. Okay. So I'm picking it up and I'm just going to twist and push until it opens that hole up where I need it. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Wow. I'm not I'm not I'm not putting this on a Brad. And if y'all have a different idea, tell me. We're struggling coming up with who I am. Isn't well, that funny? They're struggling too because they're all doing different things in that same those See, three things. We're they're, struggling trying to figure out what mine uh, would be. Opinion is that. But they wanted to know was there a can of biscuits in my stamp set? <laughs> I will say this. It does discuss dough. I'm going to say that. It does discuss dough, yeah. which is funny. Um, uh, Linda said you need to do a roller skating weenie dog wearing a zebra suit. That's what we said earlier. <laughs> a weenie dog with um, roller skates on, listening to a Walkman, carrying a cake on his back, and, in a, and zebra print. That's what we said. That's so funny. That's funny. All right. I need to. This is. Oh, I better do it the right way. Okay. This is the pinwheel. The pinwheel? This is the pinwheel stem <coughs> from the set. And I think I'm going to stamp it onto some paper and cut it out. Onto some white cardstock, I think. I think. Do I want to do white? Yeah, I'll do it. Let me cut a little piece off of this piece. No, where's my scratch? Cece hand? says she thinks weenie dog and zebra more than 80s. See, I thought y'all would say that because we don't talk about the 80s a lot. And I don't really either. That's why I was saying I'm not sure that I feel, I'm feeling the 80s situation. All right, I'm going to do a little black to add a little black to the card here because I also want to do my sentiment in black. So using a little Nocturne from Versa Cheryl Claire. said you could do a zebra with leg warmers and a weenie dog with a Walkman. <gasps> a zebra with leg warmers. Are y'all thinking we should try to mix it all together? I don't know. I'm struggling. I said, I asked Vince this morning. I said, Vince, so who am I? What am I? If those were you, the two we did for you, do you think the two we did for you are so you? I do, yeah. I mean, we did Original Club and Scripture Club, and it's so Vin. I think it's so I, I think, just from looking, that uh, Weenie Dogs is winning for you. Is it? I feel like it myself when you say it, when you ask me that. By the way, did y'all see Carly came to work yesterday? I, did I started to bring another one today, but I just didn't. It, back Thursday's out. a bad day because we're so busy, but um, Carly came to work yesterday, and she is spoiled now. Let me tell you what she did this morning. Because she's better than the other two dogs because she had a trip by herself. Do you know this? Oh, yeah. I put her out to the potty this morning. She went out. When she was finished, she came to the door and let me know like this. Er, er, er. That's how her bark was. Er, like, I'm done. You can open the door now. I'm better <laughs> than this. You're not leaving me out here. She literally was like, um, excuse me, I'm outside in the elements. Like, literally is how she was talking to me. And I'm like, girl. You stay out there as long as they're out there. That kind of scared me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> um, so now that we brought her to work, she's like a proper diva. I know. I said you could do a retro wiener. <laughs> like a hot dog. Like an actual hot dog. <gasps> what if we did a hot dog? What if we did a hot dog set? I love hot dogs. Is that crazy? I don't know. I need to know. We We're struggling. We are struggling with this one. All right. This is going to go right here, and it's going to hold my pinwheel. Susan said maybe she needed some TP. <laughs> she it's going to hold my pinwheel. Look, I want the pinwheel to feel like it's coming in from the side. Isn't that cute over those flowers? I love mm, that's it. That's a good thought. And the, um, what's a good thought? 
The sentiment I'm going to wow, use Lynn, is you stand me right around. Lynn was only five miles from the epic center of the hurricane. I mean, the, the uh, earthquake yesterday. I heard about that earthquake. Ooh. Um, Mary no. said you like vintage market pieces like cake plates and milk glass and stuff like that. You should put I some do, of that in And there. I wish, here's the thing, they're so hard to turn into a stamp set because... That was like when we was trying to figure out how to do farm style. Which, by the way, I have found what I'm doing for farm style. Okay. It may not be the greatest thing, but that's coming. We figured that out. But it's so hard because it's like, how do I turn how do I turn that into a stamp set? I don't know. We struggle with that one. They said that. Uh, speaking of eighties, oh, this song is going to get this is going to get me for the rest of the day. I'll be singing this all day. You spin me right round. All day. You spent, I can't sing it. You can't. It was, I was singing it in my head though. Oh, it's pretty on there too. Okay, let's do, I feel like I should do some treatment to this. I feel like it's too white. Although that's got white in the background too. Maybe it's not, but I still feel like it needs a treatment. I'm Mary thinking, said you might need to throw in some buffalo chip. Okay, I love, not buffalo chips. That's what she said, buffalo chip. <laughs> I love buffalo check. And you know, I don't have a Buffalo Tech stamp. We have one, but it's not mine. No, because says she hopes you do a cow. <laughs> what does this need? Amber said she sang it for you. Say, Amber, hello, darling. Hey, what does this need? Does it not need anything because this is also white background? What does it need? Beth said you could do a weenie dog hanging on a pole like the 80s little cat. Like hanging, like the poster hang in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about this. What's this need? See, y'all don't know either. Y'all are just as torn as I am. So what do we do? Uh, do a 1950s dinner stamp set. Diner. Diner. Yeah. Well, it says dinner. But, but... that's not me at all. Mm -mm. Yellow. Susan said darker it needs some black. darker black. Add shadows to the flower flowers. Vintage photo. I thought about the vintage photo. Red stripe by a black one. I'm thinking yellow too. Color I think it's yellow. yellow too. A lot of y'all are saying it and I'm feeling it. Could it be needs wrong. A bow. We'll see. No, because it, it needs a bow. Everything needs a bow. Where's my marker? Pink go? and yellow. Vintage photo. I think it needs yellow. We're gonna try it. It's probably gonna smear because I didn't use the right ink because I wasn't it wasn't planning on doing it, so I'm gonna be super easy. <laughs> Natalie and I didn't ignore you. Maybe I, I should mix dogs. the colors. Let's mix them. Let's do yellow and pink. Are you ignoring people, Vince? Well, I, apparently now I thought I was ignoring We've had her. this discussion. I try not to ignore. He totally ignored me this morning, y'all. This is so funny. What? You you don't even know it. I was in there talking to you. You were getting ready to do stamp club labels, which which distracts you rightly. So. Well, and I and had I, my headphones in my ears, too. No, so you I didn't, didn't hear this morning. What you, were you were just, you were just, da, 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 and I said something, and I stopped, and he just sat there. And then a few minutes later, he went, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I went, no, I'm out of here. I'll be back. Look, I get I have I'm to out. focus because if I don't, I end up printing the same labels two times, and then people get doubles, and then I get fussed at. Yes, you do. Yeah, this is what it needed. Let me show you. It needed that. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I want to decide where this is going to live, which is somewhere here, my little pinwheel, something like so. And I want to put this little guy. In have here. you tried opal polish? What is opal polish? Well, I don't know what that is. I clearly haven't tried it. All right, I want this right here. Watch how I'm going to do Robin it. Robin said it needs some glitter. We'll get there. We'll get there. Let's put a little glue down. Woo. All I want to do is sing the song. All I want to do is sing it. Who sang that song? Who did sing it? Y'all will know. Do ran, do ran. No. <laughs> By the way, he knows that's not how you say it, but he's funny like that. I think I'm gonna pop this guy up twice. Now I gotta know. When you say it, I'm gonna be mad because I already know it. Do I want to pop this up twice, or do I want to glue this directly down? I'm not making this spin because I can't find my brads. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Since the move, I can't find them. I'm going to lay one down and pop pop the yellow up. Can't find my Brad, so this guy gets popped up, and that's all there is to it. 
they're here somewhere. I am going to put a little pearl on this, though, to mm, make it cute in the middle. All right, you know that glue shows through vellum, so keep it where you're going to hide it. Interesting. I don't know these people. The name of the group that sang it was Dead or Alive. I don't know them either, actually. Actually. And it's the, I mean, they might, I don't know. Y'all, this paper. It's a British band, Dead or Alive, 1984. That vellum hid that glue. Now, it could be the, pro the way I'm doing it, but that vellum hid that glue. It's a thicker vellum. I, I can't, I now, mean. Naoka knew who sang it. I would. And Mindy knew who sang it. Did they Google? Lynn knew who sang it. Did they Google? Well, I don't know, but they posted it. Are they just brilliant? Should they be on Jeopardy? This one I'm going to alternate so that the little pinwheels go in a different direction than the other one, than the one underneath. Lori said Dead or Alive lead see, singer Pete Burns. You can't even see, um, you can't even see the phone one through them. one wonder. You can't even see the phone through them. Best said they were a one hit wonder, big hair, big makeup. Well, that's the 80s in a nutshell. What made me laugh about it was we were going to put, um, okay, so I got to talk to Rainy, but my friend Rainy says a saying that cracks me up. She says, this is going to blow your bangs back. Because, like, it's going to be that good, right? Yeah. And I want to do have a, have a birthday that will blow your bangs back. Because 80s bangs, because I had bangs. Lynn said, funny. not Google, 80s kid. I'm an 80s kid. I didn't know. Well, yeah, but you don't even know who sings the stuff you listen to today. I don't. I'm real bad. I don't. Terrence said he loved Dead or Alive back in the 80s. Is I loved it, too, the Bon Jovi song. Yes, it was. Who sang Dead or Alive? Yeah, Bon Jovi. I got that right. I don't get a lot of that stuff right, y'all. Nana said she puts a wobbler on her pinwheel. Yeah, I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they're at. They're here somewhere. Oh, there they are right there. Look, sticking up in that. Oh, yeah. Right there, big as day. As big as Ike. They'd have been a snake. Get that little guy down there. I like the little bling Jeff in the middle. Said, Mama, I love your hair. Thank you. It's very gone, isn't it? Look at the bling in the middle. Look how you can hardly see my foam squares through this vellum. I love this vellum. Y'all, this is cute. I'm liking this. Okay, let's do the glitter. Glit. Did you see the foam square situation? Did they show that to you? Yes. Do you understand it? No. The black foam squares have a black and white polka dotted backer. So when you pick it up, you know you're not picking up your white ones. You're picking up your black ones. So they just put they're them black. in backwards. They no. They put the backer on them. No, they're black. What they do is they make it. They make is that it, a new thing? Because it didn't used to do that. Let me show you. Yes, they did. No. Yeah, they did. Let me no. show you. If you don't have the polka dots, you could be picking up your white ones and not your black ones. Because this is what you see. Mm -hmm. So they put the polka dots so you know that's your black ones. Mm-hmm. It's the very same thing. It's just polka dotted. I got you. I could show you that we've had it before. You may have had it before, but originally they didn't come that way because I remember them being solid black. Because well. I remember having to freak out because I had to try to pull them things off when you'd make me make a card. Where's my glitter? See, can't find nothing. Well, because you don't never use glitter. No, my glitter pen. Here it is. Aqua Shimmer. Yeah. I'm using the Aqua Shimmer. Woo! I dripped. Totally my fault, y'all. I have to tell y'all why. Because I use this in an inappropriate way. I'll do it right here when you see it. I put some on my work surface. <laughs> I squeeze it out, and then I drop it in. Or rub it on, but I'm going to drop it into this area. Snowy Colorado? Are you serious? Dang. It's so pretty here. It's so pretty outside. Michelle said her cousin found a ball python in her hen house in Alabama. I'm not surprised. In Wellman, Alabama. Because, you know, people get them as pets and then let them go when they get too big or they can't handle them anymore. I'm not scared of a ball python, especially the little ones, you know, that you can hold in your hand. I'm not scared of those kind of snakes. Okay, what is the company? Is that vellum? It's Echo Park. We have it in store, and it's 20% off right now. Have y'all Have they been linking it? I'm sure they have. There's some glitter. Y'all probably can't see it. Um, card base. Right here. I knew I had already made one. This has not been bad. I knew this would be more than 30 minutes because I had a lot to do, but it's only been 45. 
That's not too bad. I'm gonna clean that off with my trusty nasty rag. Where did that even come from? I don't know. Okay, foam. I want. I said I was gonna show y'all this too because I think it is hilarious. All right. Well, you people in Colorado and you people in Kansas don't order no art glitter glue. Because it's snowing. Yeah. Um. Robin said it's supposed to be 71 degrees today and 29 overnight with snow in Kansas. Happy first day of spring. Is today the first day of spring? Stacy, yeah, it is. Stacy said they're getting eight inches of snow tonight. I would be jealous, but for some reason this year, I am loving the spring weather. I don't normally. You know I'm not that person. But there's something about walking outside to the birds chirping and just the, just, I don't know. I just love it this year. I love it. All right, they're asking what glitter is that that you used? This is the Aqua Shimmer pen. I just put it up, and now I don't know where I put it. Here it is. Aqua so Shimmer. it's from Nuvo. It's Nuvo, and the cool thing is you get two in a pack. Aqua Shimmer, and they're it's beautiful. I love it. This one's called Glitter Gloss, and um, these last forever. I've had mine a really long time. I sat that on my keyboard. Probably shouldn't have. Um, Susan said, why are some products in stock for the store but not online? You want to explain? Well, I'm not sure which one she's referring to. What she's to, saying is, why do we sometimes have stock in our retail location and not have it in our back, our warehouse? Well, if you're referring to our glitter glue, it's because we can't ship it if the temperatures are going to be below 40 or 40 degrees or below between me and you. So we keep it in stock in the store for those that can stop by here and pick it up. We just can't ship it to everybody. If you're not talking about art, art glitter glue, sometimes we have products in the store that are um, not safe to ship, to such, I guess, because they might get damaged or they might cost too much to ship. So sometimes that's I don't think that's does. what she's talking about, though. Okay, I'll let you guess what she's talking about because that's all I'm doing. I, what, here's the reason, okay, or what I think you're talking about. When we get product in, say we get... Um, 35 packs of vellum because we're using vellum um six of those now it used to be four four of those or six will go to the retail store she said wreaths she's talking about wreaths most of that is online most of that is we can ship most of that i think the only thing we can't ship full wreaths at all but just so you know we have two separate inventories and the reason for that is if a person walks in the store and buys something okay and we don't have it in its own separate inventory, then if you went online and bought that same thing, our numbers would be off. So we learned early on, whatever's in the retail store has to have its own inventory and whatever's in the back has to have its own. But here's what that means. If there's something you're really, really looking for and it's not online, you can call us and what Amber or now Taylor, because my daughter-in-law is working for us now, Taylor's working up front and taking orders as well. If you call in, you can talk to Taylor and she will go to the front. And if we have it, she'll sell it to you from the front. As long as we physically pull it for you, we're fine. But if we don't keep our numbers separate, then it is crazy. We, we actually, when we first started, didn't do that, and we messed ourselves up because mm -hmm. we didn't think about it. And so that's why there's two different inventories. There you go. There's my card. I like it. Oh, you can see the shimmer on those flowers. That never happens. The light usually blocks it. AZ Wife 35 asked us to remember her um, brother uh, in prayer because his wife passed away this morning from cancer. Oh, at age we'll do that. We'll do that. So we, we want to pray for them. We pray in our second show. And her family. So we're gonna we're gonna close this one out and we're gonna start our crafter after show. But I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let Shannon put the link for the after show in there. Oh, John Collins said hi. Hello, John Collin. We just talked to him uh, on the phone. Uh, <laughs> hey, um also <clears throat> um I gotta find it again. Man, I hate when I see something that I wanna ask and then I can't find it. Oh, stopper toppers. Stopper toppers are on order, but they haven't got here yet. We ordered like 250. A so. lot. It's like one of our biggest orders. I think 300 was the biggest we ever ordered. But y'all remember, stopper toppers are made by a person. And they are making them and packing them and shipping them. So it takes a little while. So, all right. And your so, card is pretty. Thank you. I don't know if John Collins said that or her. Thank you. Do we know if Taylor trip, Taylor's trip is still going on or if they canceled it? or No, it's know. for now it's still going. Still on. Okay, good. It's not till August, so. All right. Um, I'm trying to There's see. There's the link. 
Where? I don't... There it is. Okay. There's the link. So if you want to come to the Crafter After Show, we will be over there. That's where we can talk about whatever we want to. So we'll see you there in just a few minutes. And I got to find my keyboard, which I hid from myself, to be able to stop this show. Well, right? there you go. That would help, right? All right, guys. Uh, we'll we'll see, see you guys in the Crafter, in a few. Crafter After Show in just a second. Bye, guys. Bye.